So back in 2011, MLB The Show created a scouting report for Mike Trout that basically said he was going to be an everyday, run-of-the-mill, average player, which, whew, they were wrong. But it kind of got me thinking, what if Mike Trout followed that scouting report? What if he just was your okay player, you know, not the Mike Trout that he is today? So I've recreated Mike Trout and I've made him to follow that scouting report. So I'll definitely show you the scouting report in the video and we'll I'll show you what I did to Mike Trout but it kind of got me thinking why did we have scouting reports in MLB the show 2011 and we don't have them nowadays what the heck but that's not why we're here we're talking about a 2011 Mike Trout which we're gonna talk about that scouting report so guys if you enjoyed today's video make sure you hit the thumbs up down below subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and as always leave a comment let me know what you would like to see in the future i have your comments written down for sure i've seen all-time rebuilds i've seen best of the worst i've seen so many good ideas i've gotten written down i'll have them for you in the next couple weeks if you missed last video it's on screen now it's going to be in the top right hand corner it was the meme team and it was a really 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 good squad we actually we actually did pretty well i'm not going to spoil it for you but go ahead and check it out all social media links are down in the description below and that's about it guys let's go look at this 2011 mike trout that isn't very good all right so what i'm thinking is we're just gonna sim a few seasons just to kind of take a look at how he'll develop so in 2011 mike trout was 20 making his debut and we'll take a look at how he was projected by mlb the show 2011 the card is on screen now his scouting report is there and I have it written down. So it's overall, they had him at a C. They had contact at F, power at F, fielding was a C, speed was a B, that was his best stat, and his potential was rated at a D. Yikes, they said he was gonna be like an okay to average everyday player, steal a couple bases here and there, may hit some home runs, and he'd make the routine play. So they basically were just gonna say he was a standard everyday player, nothing like a superstar that he is today. They just said he was gonna be okay. Boy, were they wrong. Like, holy cow. So today I've recreated what Mike Trout would be. He's 20 years old on his debut year. And this is kind of what the stats are that I would have projected him to be. So you guys can see 70 overall potential is a D power contact or f's hitting stats basically an f and then you guys can kind of see it peeking out over my head his fielding is kind of in that c range and then his best stat his best category was his speed that i threw up in like the 80s so this is kind of what he's looking like it looks pretty bad and then you know 70 overall that's kind of like your everyday run of the mill player his hitting stats are pretty poor and uh, that's that's what I'm thinking. You know, I've edited him down to be a 20, 70 overall, you're, you know, kind of standard player. And I feel like this is what we're going to do. So maybe we sim like two or three seasons, just let the CPU handle everything. Um, he is going to be in the starting lineup. So I'm going to handle the lineup to make sure that he's still part of the, the team. He stays in the lineup. But um, I'm going to let the CPU handle like trades and free agencies and transactions and stuff like that. So. I'm kind of interested to see how this plays out, but um, let's just simulate a couple years to see how he would do um, from the year 2011. Maybe let's just sim until today's date. So we'll sim like eight years just to kind of get an idea what he would have turned out to be compared to what he is now. Alrighty, so as expected, year probably didn't go too great, didn't make the postseason, but we're here to talk about Mike Trout. So he played in every single game, had 43 doubles, which is actually pretty good. Uh, two triples, 14 home runs, which is solid especially when you have stats that are in the 40s and the 50s and then a couple stats went up here and there mostly the hitting stats went up but when you look, take a look at his year 58 rbis 39 walks high strikeouts good amount of stolen bases as well average is a little low on base percentage and stuff like that definitely not mike trout numbers but a lot better than i expected really good doubles numbers like extra base hits through the roof a lot better than i expected so what we're going to do is we're going to sim eight years into the future basically this was your 2011 year and now we're going to sim until 2019 so eight years from now and see how mike trout would have developed so he's gone up what two ratings i think it was maybe three potential has gone up just a little bit so we'll see how it plays out um just so you guys can kind of tell 
what I uh, I did for this. Let's take a look and see what um, his potential is. Because I haven't touched it. What I started off was, I think I actually had it at 69. Nice, because that's deep potential. So yeah, his potential has actually gone up a little bit. No other stats have gone up. Like I haven't touched anything, but so far it hasn't been too terrible. So let's sim into the future. And then I'll see you guys at that last year, just to kind of get an idea of what Mike Trout's career would have been like if he actually lived up to that MLB The Show 2011 report, scouting report, projection, whatever you want to call it. All right, so we're five seasons in, and I'm kind of interested to kind of just take a look, see how things are doing for Mike Trout, how much he's developed. I haven't even taken a look. The only thing I've checked is to make sure that he's part of the lineup every single season. So let's take a look. Let's see how things are going. So he's 72 overall. Not much has changed. And uh, his hitting stats have gone up a couple. Fielding looks all about the same. Speed is actually going down like every year. So this is the fifth year. Fifth year just finished. And you guys can kind of tell how the seasons have gone. I'm actually going to remove myself so you can see all the averages and on base percentage. So let me move myself real quick. So I just moved myself in the corner. You guys can see he's actually an extra base machine. Hits a lot of doubles, a fair amount of triples, home runs, you know, kind of in the low teens around the 10 mark. Average is atrocious. And then you got on base percentage slugging and OPS. So again, He's kind of like your everyday player. So if you follow the scouting report for MLB The Show 11, that's what you kind of get. So we got three more seasons. Let's finish it out. See how his career would have been from 2011 up until real life, like 2019. All right, so as expected, the Angels really weren't that good throughout the entirety of this, this sim that I did. They didn't make the playoffs once, which is kind of crazy to think about because when you look at the team, it's actually pretty good. Um, it's kind of scary, but we're not here to talk about the Angels. We're here to talk about a bad Mike Trout. So he was a 70 when we started. He's up to a 75 and now 27 years old. So we did like essentially a sim that was from his rookie year till present day. Obviously, we're a lot farther in MLB The Show. Like you get what I'm trying to say. We, we've, we're not in a realistic time frame. So if we would have gone from like 2011 to 2019, it would have been a little bit better. We would have had more realistic players, but this is what we're working with here. So 27 year old Mike Trout. So what he basically is nowadays. So he was an extra base hitter, but when you look at his attributes and stuff, best stat contact versus lefties stats across the board really didn't go up much for hitting not not too much maybe like one or two a season throughout the eight years that we just simmed fielding and speed were kind of going down every single year so not too much has changed with that um just just kind of mediocrity uh, like like the the show 11 predicted he would have just been your average everyday player you know hitting in the low 200s bad on base percentage to be honest, if you're looking at average on base percentage, he probably was like worse than what you would want for an everyday player. Home runs were decent though. Hits, extra base hits were decent. RBIs, you know, in the 50s, okay walks, good amount of stolen bases, but for the most part, pretty disappointing overall. So yeah, really, really just, really just mediocrity across the board. And it's kind of disappointing to see that not too much has changed but when your potential is around the 70 to 75 mark you really weren't expected to do much in your career and you're kind of locked at that potential that's what you would expect not too much growth in a player and that's why i kind of think a potential like grading grading system kind of limits what you can do with franchise because you know some some seasons weren't terrible you would think he would still be able to get a little bit more potential than a 75 he's hitting okay extra base hits he's hitting an all right amount of home runs and stuff like that you would think he'd be able to go a little bit higher with hitting stats or you'd see a little bit better growth in hitting stats but um i just feel like he was limited from the start and obviously this is just kind of a sim to see what he would be like if he followed that mlb the show 11 report card or scouting report or anything like that so that's how today's video is going to end if you did enjoy it make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and as always leave a comment to let me know what videos you would like to see in the future on screen now is the subscribe button and a video that youtube recommends for you guys to check it out i'm still flabbergasted that mlb the show thought mike trout was gonna be a bust 
in baseball. That's just crazy to me. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.